I'm Shay Russell from mining.com.au and I'm coming to you from the Gold Coast Investment Showcase. And next to me for some exciting show and tell is Ivan Fairhall, the Managing Director of Pivotal Metals. Ivan, how are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me on, Shay. I'm thrilled to have you on because you've got an awesome copper project out in Quebec. Uh, you've got a joint compliant resource, but you're trying to make it even bigger. Talk me through what's happening at Horden Lake. Absolutely. So at Horden Lake, we've been busy exploring and, and investors are really seeing the, the benefits of that work that we've done just starting to happen now. So it's a really interesting time to be taking a look at the project. All right. So you were just talking to me before off camera about some down holes that you're doing. Now, let's be honest, not everybody watching these videos knows what this picture even means. What does this tell an investor right now? Sure, exactly. So what you're looking at here is a 28 million tonne jaw compliant resource. It's grading 1.5% copper equivalent. If you can see here, this shadow here, that's the outline of the open pit that captures about 55, 60% of the resource. So it starts at surface, falls into an open pit. I think that open pit grade's got about 1.5% copper equivalent. So a great starter project. And then we know the project extends at depth. You can see here that, that this is all the drilling into the project and it, you can tell there it's completely open at depth. Mm. And so the, what we need to do is show the demo, demonstrate the potential for this project to extend at depth. So we've just done some drilling and that's just starting to take a look at that uh, as well as infilling some other information. So it's a really exciting time. Yeah, it certainly is. And as you mentioned before, it's opened at depth. So basically we haven't reached the complete potential of the project, which is what you're working on. Uh, tell me, when are we going to get an idea of news flow? Like, when are we going to get to look at these assay results? Uh, it's all, it's really all about to happen at the moment. Really? We've we drilled 34 holes. Um, we've released the results of only six of those holes. So that means 28 holes yet to come, probably going to come out over the next four to six to eight weeks yeah. as they come out of the lab we're, we're getting them in front of investors and and there's so there's a lot more news flow to come to show uh extensions of mineralization down dip and and the other thing that we're showing with the drill program is is the potential of the project to to have higher grade right so um part of the deposit has not has only been assayed this part and this part has only been assayed for copper and nickel oh yeah uh, but we know from assaying that's been done in the central part of the deposit there's substantial amounts of cobalt gold platinum palladium um and 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 those products bringing them into the resource allows us to to increase the grade so after this drill program we'll update the resource we'll be able to bring in more tonnage from the extension drilling We'll be able to bring in more metals from the byproduct credits that we've defined and, and, and bring them into the resource. And so we'll be able to lift it up on both sides. So this is essentially going from a copper deposit to a polymetallic deposit. Uh, now, and I believe before 34 holes that you drilled, 7,000 metres. What sort of depths have you been targeting? So we're still relatively shallow here. I think the drill, deepest drilling is sort of 200, 220 oh, metres down. Yeah. And, and that's actually the really exciting thing. So we've got drilling in the central part of the deposit. They just kept following the ore body down mm. and they, they they went to 550 metres and they kept drilling it. Now, drilling has only been to about 200 metres in this part of the deposit. We're seeing open mineralisation. We drill more holes. We'll wait to see what the assays say, but assuming that the deposit continues, uh, you can really just see, it really opens up the potential of the project to increase significantly at scale. And, and, and to complement, well, wait, there's more. <laughs> to complement that uh, deeper drilling that we've done. Mm -hmm. We've also done downhole EM, so a geophysical survey that's taken down the hole and it looks out and around mm -hmm. the hole that's been drilled and it says, where is the continuation of this mineralization, mineralization we're seeing? And we have massive sulfide, so that's perfect for this technique. And it's going to show, I think, um, uh, projections of this mineralizer. It's going to show it's open, going to show you keep drilling, you're going to keep finding mineralization. And again, that just opens up the upside potential of the project. Oh, listen, not to get too nerdy for everybody here, but you've mentioned some of my favourite keywords, that is open at depth, um, you know, massive sulphides, uh, as well as polymetallic. Uh, basically, the best is yet to come. Mate, I hope to hear more from you. This sounds very exciting. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me on.